in the recent years in the last few decades we have a lot of evidence from the field of neuroscience for mindfulness meditation studies have repeatedly demonstrated the positive impact of mindfulness meditation on our mental health on our lives and on our nervous systems so let's look at what some of these studies say and what what kind of impact do they say that the practice of mindfulness meditation creates in our lives to just repeat the definition of mindfulness once mindfulness is a practice of deliberately paying attention in the present moment non-judgmentally and compassionately deliberately bringing our attention back to what is happening now typically our attention remains entangled in some other time in the past in the future in imagination so we bring our attention to the present and we do that with a degree of non-judgment which is acceptance for whatever is there in the here and now we don't say oh the present is so boring i don't want to pay attention to it we bring our attention to the present saying this is what is real right now and so i am i'm going to look at what it is and accept it now what does this bringing your awareness again and again into the present do what is this practice and what is and we do the same thing in meditation as well when we are meditating as well we are again and again bringing our attention back into the present moment now in the recent years several neuroscience studies were done on this practice and they found that even for 20 minutes a day if you sit and bring your awareness into the present again and again maybe focus on your breath while you meditate and you do this for over 8 weeks it starts to create real measurable changes in your brain's structure and function test subjects who took part in an 8 week program of mindfulness meditation showed results that astonished even the most experienced neuroscientists at Harvard University and they found that in the first time in the medical history how meditation can produce these massive changes in the gray matter of the brain now what are the exactly the changes that mindfulness meditation is able to bring the first very important one is an impact on the default mode network now the default mode network is basically the network that is activate are uh, one of the neural networks that is active by default okay default means by default what happens is we are caught up in a kind of a thinking in our mental story mindset we think about the future we think about the past we have judgments uh, we jump from one thought to another we have all of us have this experience this is because of the default mode network now the default mode network is useful it's not that this network is not useful however what happens with the default mode network is that it is also responsible for these unhelpful thoughts and the loop of thoughts in which we are stuck these mental stories in which we are stuck we don't want to think still we are thinking that is because of our default mode network now what mindfulness practice very effectively does is it deactivates this default mode when it is not needed so people are able to come to the direct experience vis-a-vis -vis the default network the direct experience is right now we are here right now whatever we see whatever we hear our breath our body sensations right now this is all happening now this is our direct experience so what mindfulness practice does is it deactivates the default network and we engage more and more with the direct network because we are practicing and that creates an ability to stay present and create a lot of positive impacts in the brain including not being thought not being caught up in these loops of un uh, unhelpful thoughts and mental stories another important aspect that is uh, that the neuroscientific studies have brought to light are the is the brain's ability to change and restructure itself this ability of the brain to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections is known as neuroplasticity now when we are caught up in thoughts let's say about the future and we are caught up in anxieties about the future our brain is observing and learning 
it sees that the future anxiety this particular anxiety about the future seems to be very important to this person and it brings it up more and more similarly if you meditate and you practice regularly and therefore the brain observes that you bring your attention back into the present again and again it starts to learn and those neurons have better connectivity which are involved with letting go of these future anxieties or past worries or imaginations and to come back here those neurons become stronger and the brain starts to learn that this is more important being here is more important so the more you practice the more easily you're able to be present and the more you tend to suffer because of your uh, thought processes because of the way you think the more the tendency of the brain becomes to engage with that thought and creates more suffering so when you practice mindfulness meditation what starts to happen is because the brain is again and again the attention is again and again being brought into the present the brain is learning and changing and reorganizing there are changes in the brain's structure there is increased gray matter density in areas associated with learning memory and self awareness Uh, areas such as the hippo hippocampus so which means your learning ability improves your memory improves your awareness of what is going on with you improves there is also a growth of new u- neurons which are related to these areas there is also increased connectivity between various different brain structures now the better these structures are connected the better the performance overall of the brain right the prefrontal cortex for example gets better connected to other regions of the brain and the prefrontal cortex is that structure of the brain that is involved in rational decision making that is involved in solving problems that is involved in remembering important things so all of these functions improve and as a result your efficiency improves your productivity improves and your ability to be calm also improves the next uh part of the brain that is significantly impact, impacted by the mindfulness meditation practice is the amygdala now the amygdala is a small structure in the brain that is involved in processing emotion uh, this structure detects threat and gets the system ready to fight for that threat so if there is threat or danger in our surroundings then the amygdala will say okay it's time to get ready to fight so it will pump blood faster into your system your heartbeat will increase your blood pressure will increase you will have uh, your eyes your pupils will dilate you'll have sharper vision you'll have better hearing you'll become vigilant there'll be more energy in your um, legs on your hands because this is required to fight or a danger or a threatening situation or to run away from it uh, this response in the body is known as the fight and flight response now the amygdala senses threat and in a very useful resourceful way gets the ready uh, gets the body ready to fight but what happens when there is no real threat what happens when in the present there is no threat your threat is coming from your thoughts your thoughts are stuck in a traumatic situation or a fear of something or you have to give an, a presentation in office tomorrow or confront your a partner about something difficult have a difficult conversation and you are thinking about that now and it's worrying you now what happens is that the amygdala starts to get your system ready to fight when there is nothing to fight and so cortisol increases in your blood stream your stress hormones grow and over a period of time your system becomes extremely stressed and depleted of energy which is a result of the fight and flight reaction now the more you remain stuck in such thinking the more the system depletes mindfulness meditation can reduce this amygdala activity and can reduce this threat sensitivity and help you to manage your emotions better so in conclusion mindfulness brings positive changes in our brain functioning it affects brain regions like default mode network it promotes neuroplasticity influences memory and it reduces stress and all these have been uh, shown by findings in neuroscience studies as we have seen it is backed by scientific research that this practice is extremely and absolutely effective 
Of course, before we start the practice, we need scientific research to tell us that. But when we actually practice ourselves, when we are practitioners, we know it is helping. We can see the changes in our life. And we don't need neuroscience to tell us what is changing. We can experience a shift in our relationships, in our uh, emotional management, in a reduction of unhelpful and painful thoughts. It's a Any practitioner who's been practicing for a while will tell you that these shifts have taken place in their lives. And so we come to the most important point in my opinion, which is practice. Regular practice is the only way to create these changes in our system. Knowledge is helpful. Uh, it will motivate us. It will convince us. It will bring us to the practice. But practice is what will change things actually sitting on our cushions and if 20 minutes is difficult start with 10 minutes start with five minutes but starting is the most important thing so start small but stay consistent and not only meditation but also bringing your awareness again and again into the present throughout the day that is the practice that is the off cushion practice on cushion we bring our awareness back to our breath again and again we have developed a very simple course to help people to start their practice right now. So if you have not registered for that course, uh, you can start your practice in this, this minute. It has all that you need, uh, guided meditations, um, videos to explain the practice to you, everything, posture instructions, everything that you need to just start right now. But practice is everything. So this is a free course for you. Uh, start practicing right now. And I wish you all the best. And I really hope that you practice and you become well and happy.